In this video, we're going to look at a typical unfurnished student apartment in Finland and answer the question what to expect when you're applying for student accommodation. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time we're meeting, my name is Oliver and I'm a master's student in economics at Aalto University in Finland. And on this channel we talk about education and early career development specifically here in Finland. So if you're new here, do consider subscribing. So as mentioned in this video, we're going to take a look at a typical unfurnished student apartment here in Finland. Also, I have to mention that this video is done in partnership with HOAS, which is one of the largest providers of student apartments in the Helsinki metropolitan area. They were actually kind enough to lend me a key to one of their empty apartments so that I can show it to you guys. Um, but I, I have actually personally lived in a HOAS building for almost seven years now and I have been extremely happy. So if you're still looking for an apartment in Finland, I really urge you guys to go and check them out. Uh, all the necessary links can be found in the description box down below. So the apartment that we're going to look at today is actually a roomy apartment. So if you haven't seen my video where I explained all of the different housing options for students, uh, a roomy apartment is basically the same as a shared apartment with the difference that you can actually impact the choice of your roommates. So you can, for example, apply into a roomy apartment with your friends or with your siblings. So while this particular apartment is a roomy apartment, actually a lot of the shared apartments that you can apply for are actually quite similar. So this gives you a realistic idea of what to expect, expect when you're actually applying for a student apartment. All right, so now that we are in, this particular apartment is a two person shared apartment or a roomy apartment in this case. What you have to remember is that in shared apartments or roomy apartments, each tenant has their individual rental agreement. So that means that if one of the tenants actually moves out, the other one doesn't have to. Uh, rather, the, the one that moves out will be replaced with a new roommate. Very typical for a shared apartment, or in this case, a roomy apartment. You have one and you have two locked individual rooms. So these would be your, your and your roomies bedrooms. On top of them, you have, you know, a small common area. So in roomy apartments, you actually share a bathroom with your roommate. So this is a very typical Finnish bathroom where you have the uh, shower and the toilet in the same space. This, as you can see, this is not a big, big bathroom, but you know, it's some, it's very typical to uh, what you can actually find in these type of, of student apartments. So in addition to the bathroom, you would also share with your roommates a kitchen in this case, a full kitchen. You can also have a open kitchen or a so-called kitchenette, which, uh, which is even smaller than, than uh, this one. Uh, this again is a very typical Finnish kitchen, nothing uh, that much to it. You got your stoves plus oven combinations and you got your uh, fridge and your freezer. You know, of course, every kitchen has enough cabinet space for your, you know, dishes, your spices. And then there's something that is actually super, super Finnish. And this is in every single Finnish household, a drying cabinet where you actually can put in all of your dishes into this cabinet to dry. I think this actually is a Finnish invention. I'm not completely sure. But yeah, if you want any more appliances into your kitchen, you know, like your coffee machine or for example, water boiler, those you have to buy yourself. So that's pretty much all to the common spaces. And as you might have noticed, you know, in, in such a small apartment, you know, the common spaces like the bathroom and the kitchen aren't that large and there's no common living room in the apartment. But if you, for example, have a uh, apartment for three or even four people, uh, the common spaces are going to be larger. So you might even have enough space for, you know, a type of a shared living room of sort, you know, where you can have a sofa and maybe a TV. But yeah, let's look at the rooms themselves. So as mentioned before, in shared apartments, or in this case, roomy apartments, each tenant would have their own separate 
lockable room and uh, these rooms are really actually quite plain simple uh, usually the rooms are around um, 10 to 16 square meters in size also have to mention that you know while the common spaces might not have that much uh, storage space uh, more than these closets here each tenant has their own wardrobes in their room so that you can keep your own stuff behind locked doors it's basically the same story here in the second room it's almost exactly the same again uh, the rooms are really really clean and nice uh, you know 10 to 16 square meters in some shared apartments you might go up to 20 square meters again you got your own you got your own wardrobes but that's basically it yeah but that's basically everything to it in this type of a shared apartment if you're interested in applying to a shared apartment or a roomy apartment like this uh, usually the rents run somewhere around 300 and 500 euros per month while editing this video, I noticed that I wasn't 100% accurate with the pricing information for these type of apartments, but I have the correct information in the description box down below, so go ahead and check that out before you apply for an apartment. Anyways, back to the video. You know, of course, there's not that much into this kind of an apartment when it's unfurnished, but actually in my next video, I'm going to visit a furnished apartment. So if you want to see what that looks like, make sure to subscribe to the channel for future content. So that's it, that's everything for me this time. If you have any questions about uh, student apartments or accommodation in Finland, please put all the questions in the comment section down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Also, to reiterate, if you're still looking for a student apartment in Finland, I really recommend that you check out the apartments from Hoas. Personally, I have been extremely satisfied. I'm sure that you will be as well. And all the necessary links will be in the description box down below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.